Welcome to Inside the Ivy on the Sports Report Radio on the phone. DJ Hurst. DJ, welcome to Inside the Ivy on Sports Report Radio. What's going on? Thanks for having me, Kyle. Hey, DJ, what's it like to be in that Cubs organization? I know you're drafted last year. What's it like to put on that Cubs jersey and think, man, I'm a Chicago Cub? Um, It's awesome. Uh, when I first went to Wrigley Field uh, for my uh, Pro Select Day workout, it was you could just see all the history there, and it's amazing just to be a part of something so great and that has a lot of history. So it's, it's awesome. I'm blessed. Hey, DJ, you're picked in 2019, correct? Yes, sir. Tell our people a little bit about you, kind of your background, okay? Yes, sir. So uh, going into my 10th grade year, so the summer of or going the summer of going into my 10th grade year, I uh, got offered by uh, UNC, North Carolina, and so I made my commitment and before my 10th grade year, and I had like a three-year-long commitment with North Carolina, and um, then Billy Swoop, who is my uh, scout for the Cubs, my uh, he scouted me hard, and um, we all talked, and when Jeff Day did come, uh, after, we thought it was my best option to skip college and go straight to pro. That, that was our end goal, so that's what me and my dad and my whole family, that's what we thought was best for us. DJ, eighth round, that's, 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 a, that's a, a relatively very high, really early pick, because with the, with the draft being 40 rounds, who knows what's going to happen in the future, but eighth round, that's an early pick, so there, there's a lot of confidence placed in you right out of high school for the Cubs to pick you. Do you feel pretty honored for that? Oh, of course I do. Yes, sir. Uh, it wasn't just it wasn't just about the money too, uh, but it was that we were looking towards our end goal, and that's what the Cubs were going to offer. Um, they they did a big thing for us. Uh, they had, I'm pretty sure. Uh, hold up, if you give me a second. They had um, Theo Epson and uh, Jess, Jason McLeod. Um, uh, they came before. Wow. I signed my, before I signed my thing, they came to a hotel in Fayetteville and they um, they made sure that they they try to tell me the best thing to do and uh, try to get me as hard as they could. And I, that, that showed a lot of special things with the Cubs and that, that was a big reason that I stayed with the Cubs. Well, that's impressive. The guys at the top of the organization came to see you. I mean, that's got to, as a young guy, that's got to be quite an honor to feel, man, they really want me with the Cubs. Oh, yes, sir. Definitely. Oh, it was Jed Howard, Jed Foyer instead of Theo Epson, my bad. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, top top guys. I mean, let's face it. Let's face it. Those are the top guys in the organization. But so, so you're a lefty, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, so so you're. Do you like to start? Do you like to relief? Do you like to middle relief? I mean, what? I, you you probably played baseball, travel ball, little league ball, you know, all those things. I, is starting your your thing, or what do you think? Maybe will follow you through your career. Um, I definitely think starting is my thing. Uh, I've been, I'm from when I've been a kid. I've always played up, and I've always been a starter, and I think that's what's helped me a lot is playing up. When I, was, when I was very young, so I feel like I'm doing the same now, just playing up with older guys, and I think starting is where I'm at, but it's whatever they have me at, so I'm fine with any either way. Hey, DJ, after you got drafted, where did you go? I mean, were you Arizona Rookie League, or were you Fall League, or Eugene? Where were you last year after the Cubs drafted you? I was in uh, the Arizona Fall League, and uh, I finished up there. That's where, we, that's where they had me at. Um, what was that like going in there and, and seeing that locker room and, and seeing, you know, thinking, man, you know, I, I obviously didn't see the major league guys there till spring training, but, but what was it like walking in that locker room and thinking, man, this is where, this is where all the big league guys that play for the Cubs train. I mean, was it kind of a surreal experience for you thinking, man, I got something, I, I got something that's really cool that I'm doing right now. Oh, it, de it definitely was. It was very surreal. Just going all the way across the the, the United States to pl go play for the Cubs, it was crazy. Because I'm at 18 and just going across the state, I've never been on the plane before and stuff. So it was it was awesome when you walk in and then within the weight room they have the big, they changed it now, but they had the big 
red sign of when they won the World Series and all the people were outside, which was, that gave me chills. And then you could see all the, the banners held up before on the weight room, which is crazy. And just how they, how we like, how they want you to do things with the Cubs. It was, it was crazy. Awesome. DJ, growing up, uh, did you play other sports where, you know, a lot of people listening to this, they're going to, you know, they don't know necessarily who you are. You're a young guy in the organization. Um, what what kind of did you do in your life growing up? Basketball, football, baseball, um, track, a little bit of everything, or just focus on baseball? So, so uh, growing up, I played football, basketball, and baseball. We actually thought basketball was going to be my sport. I played for uh, a travel league team when I was in ninth grade called Team Felons which they have players that play for Duke, Pitt, Pittsburgh, all D1 schools. And I made that team, and which is a travel ball team. And we thought basketball was going to be my sport. And then baseball just came so easy. And I played varsity football since a freshman to senior year. I mean, that's it. Yeah, football as quarterback. And then I played uh, varsity basketball. Um, I played JV basketball freshman year varsity sophomore junior and then i didn't play senior year because that's the year before baseball and i guess i played uh varsity uh baseball through freshman year but I'll, i've always played those three sports i've always practiced those three sports and it that was what i what i did well, that sounds interesting so you're kind of an athletic guy growing up too and a lot of a lot of different things so so you're so what i'm getting at is your arm's probably fresh because you didn't just pitch forever i mean you played other sports in off seasons and you learned other sports which certainly helps pitchers for sure. yeah for sure i d definitely do hey dj let's talk about your family i mean what was it like um was there an influence in your family that kind of guided you towards sports or or, or or did you just kind of develop that love with your buddies that are just friends that you're out on the playground with oh uh, no it was definitely 100 percent my dad uh he he worked my butt off and yeah i wouldn't be nowhere near what i am without my dad because he trained me from ever since i was a kid like it was his job uh, anytime we wanted to get that extra practice or that extra swinging in after a tournament, we, we would go hit it after the tournament. And but he, my dad, was with me all the way. He's even my agent now. Uh, he made sure he took classes on that. So it, my dad was is a big part of who I am and stuff. And um, yeah, I would think thank my brother too because he throws with me on the these quarantine days. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough right now, not knowing what's going on, the uncertainty, where you're going to be. But, but, but most importantly, sure. most importantly, DJ, I appreciate you taking the time. We plan on following your career through whether it's Eugene, whether it's Arizona, where it's South Bend, where it's Myrtle Beach, whether it's Tennessee, Iowa, eventually to the Cubs. Most importantly, thank you for taking your time, DJ, and we're going to follow your career, and we plan on talking to you all along the way. But thanks for your time, DJ. Yes, I appreciate sir. it. Thank you for having me. Thank you for doing this for me, too. This is awesome. I'm grateful to be on it.